Sean Smith, who has five to his credit, scored a wonder goal against Queen's Park Rangers in the last minute. From this range, I'm certain he'll take this, and he has done. Oh, a great strike from Smith again. Well done, Steve Foster. Stepped in front of Michael Ricketts as he came out to defend, and it's always a danger when you do that to leave your man, but it paid off from there as Ashton, who is onside, goes through. Dean Ashton against Matt Clark, who brings him down, or does he? The ball is in his hands. The ball in his hands, and well, really, Dean Ashton did very well, but the keeper's done excellent there. It was his saving grace then, Matt Clark. If he hadn't had the ball, it would have been a penalty, and he'd been off. Jack, oh, he's into the side netting. And that's the explosive play that Rodney Jack can produce. As Ashton comes back with Colin Hendry, who's up for this long throw once more. Ricardo, Ricardo Gardner was the play, didn't do very well in the air, but he has another chance on the deck. Marshall with a touch, looking for Ricketts, who gets there first. A cross girl, and Van Curley's hand keeps it away from being the first girl of the evening. Here's Warhurst. Brings in Barnes as the crew midfield start to regroup. Barnes wants to pick out Marshall and does. Here's Gardner and it's another hand away from Van Curley that stops it going in. Well, that's a splendid challenge from Warhurst. He went through two players to keep hold of the ball. Holdsworth is also doing very well at keeping hold of possession and not too bad at shooting because that has gone straight through Van Curley and has given the sub the opening girl of the game. Come of the time, come of Dean Holdsworth. If ever a player needed to strike, it was a player like him at this moment in Bilton's season. The crew could mathematically go down, but they've hit the target of 50 magical points, and you know the teams blow each other, blow crew now have got to start playing each other. So really, Bolton going to be more geared up for this match than crew were. But I see if they take the foot off the pace, and crew could catch them out. Ashton leaves Hendry on his back. Charlton now. Oh, what a great goal from Holtz! Charlotte's grass met superbly by Rob Holtz, who heads in his ninth of the season. Look at him now. He's now the joint leading goal scorer here at the Alexandra Stadium. What did I say? Take your foot off the pressure and what happens? An excellent cross by Phil Charlotte. And what a plump header by Rob Holtz. He met that with so much force. Maybe the best keeper in the world would have saved that. The width there that will allow them the space for Holtz to run into for this free kick from David Wright. Foster forward as well. The loose ball is now with Neil Savelle, who hits the inside of the post. So close to giving Crew the lead. Ashton back in, and that's an offside against Colts. And although the ball hits the bar, it wouldn't have counted anyway. From a similar position. Now, what can Sean Smith do from here? Well, he's been told to take it forward 10 metres because of the verbal abuse that Gav Fowley gave out. And Colin Hendry, now not surprisingly, has come to speak to Mr Walton. Now, this really does change things. Do we still think a ball to the back post, Dan? <laughs> I think a ball in the back of the net somewhere along the line, to be quite honest with you. Miss many from inside the penalty area, let alone just outside. What can he produce from here? Oh my word, Navarro has produced a wonderful goal from Dean Ashton, completely flummoxed us all. The set piece routine from the Alex as Lum plays it square, Ashton slots in for his seventh of the season. Well, would you believe that, Adam? Well, if the first, surpri the first goal surprised us, that shocked everybody, including the Bolton defence. They were all waiting for Sean Smith to take one of his Thunderbolt free kicks, and who's there scoring another great goal for Cree, the youngster, yeah. Dean Ashton.